The issue with this one is the charging port over here is very loose. When I'm gaming, sometimes it'll shift over to the left or to the right. And when that happens, the controller stops working. So if this video is helpful to you, definitely leave us a like and subscribe. We would appreciate it. Start with removing these side pieces, which are currently covering some of the screws we're gonna wanna get to. So we're gonna start with prying off the sides here. Once you have enough of it off, go ahead and attack the other side. And there we go. Okay, so now we have both of those off. We have exposed all the screws. So with the screwdriver, let's go ahead and get these out. And once we do that last screw, this whole thing's falling apart. And there we go. And now we can focus on our charger ports. We're gonna start the desoldering process, which is going to be first off with some flux. Let's start off with a little bit of solder. This is leaded solder. I'm just adding a little bit to all these supports. Finally, I'm gonna hit it with some hot air. All right, and it does look like we ripped the trace during the removal process. We're gonna go ahead and have to do a little bit of trace repair here. My first move is going to be clearing up a little bit of this extra solder we have here. This is our new piece that we're gonna be installing. And I just added some flux to the legs. We're gonna tin them, meaning just add a little bit of solder before we install it, just to make it easier. I'm gonna start with adding solder to the grounding pins, those support pads. All right, one thing we're gonna do is, now that we have all our pins connected, whoop, we're just gonna try and move them and make sure that they're not loose. So this one's gonna be loose since it's uh, a trace that we just installed. Oh, this one looks loose, it's moving, so we'll have to touch that up. Oh, it looks like that one as well. So these two, are loose. All right. 
last part is I noticed that I didn't solder yet our last supports over here. So we finished soldering the front, and now we're gonna do the back. And that should be it. All right, so we have our Xbox connected to the monitor. I'm gonna plug in the controller, and it vibrated immediately. And it looks like everything's working, so we're back in business. I can wiggle it without it disconnecting. So I think we're good. We're all set.